All right, everybody. This is uh, RC Mechanic. We're back for some more of the C1508 Bronco. And uh, we're down to the electronics part. Now, <clears throat> I have already mocked up the electronics, but I uh, did not like the way they were. Um, because on the 1060 Hobby Wing, this is a little bit short if I'm going to put the receiver up here. So, <clears throat> I took them both off, and uh, what I'm going to do, I believe, is uh, put the receiver right here and put. Move my finger so you can see it. Uh, put the speed controller right here. I'm sorry, and um, the receiver right here. I'm gonna have to flip this around because otherwise, it'll... here, do it like this. All right, like that. So I can put the on/off switch down below. So everything's right close. It's happy. It does what it wants to do, right? The most uh, most applications, most videos I've seen on this truck, uh, that's where they put it, and most likely because they've used that same speed controller and um, run into the same issue with the wire being too short. Now the other part is this wire, these wires right here. For the battery, as you can see, I already put the Dean's connector on it, but where it's sitting is going to be, well, it's going to be something like there, right? So I'm going to have to put either an extension on or extend this wire. I could do another plug, plug in here and plug in there. Or I could just remove this uh, connector right here and solder this extension, which I got off of another speed controller that's no good, to this. So ideally, um, what you don't want is um, a bunch of plugs going to your battery because um, every time you have a plug um, plugged in, there's more resistance. The only plug you really want to your battery is the one you plug into your battery so <clears throat> originally I thought about adding a plug like this to it but um, now I'm thinking about it actually I sat here for about 45 minutes thinking about it and um, it ended up being a no-brainer that what I need to do is just cut this off and solder these together okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So what we got here is uh, the hobby wing mounted right there. We have the Fly Sky receiver, which hey, I don't think I've told you about that yet. Uh, the Fly Sky is a new one. Uh, I have not dealt with Fly Sky before. Well, I may have, but I didn't know it. But um, no, wait a minute. I did on the Arma Granite has a Fly Sky receiver in it, and I bought a uh, cheap Fly Sky radio, but I don't like it. Well, anyway, the Fly Sky Noble is what we're using right now. This thing, oh, I gotta tell you, it is awesome like, major awesome. I mean, there are so many things you can do with this thing. I'm not going to go into it in this episode, but, you know, coming up, we will. Because you can adjust so many things just from this, right? And it's so easy to interface with it. So much easier than a Spectrum. And I love Spectrum. Um, it's just that they're really hard to use, you know? Compared to this really hard to use and like uh, 200 bucks you get two receivers uh, you know what can I tell you only thing is I had to wait a long time all right so 
I got everything hooked up. Everything's mounted. Uh, the one thing that we're going to have to do is this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right in here, there's a piece of the dashboard that's in the way. It's not allowing it to sit straight up. There we go. It's not allowing it to sit straight up and down. It needs to come forward a bit down the bottom. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have to trim that. <coughs> I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, what I did promise was that we would have electronics done on this video, and uh, we're, we pretty much got it done. So, let's go ahead and hook up a battery to it and see what happens. All right. Well, I heard a snap, so something must be hooked up. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we turn on this here uh, high-tech radio. All right, got to hold it. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to Noble. All right, and when we do that, we go ahead and turn that on. Oh my gosh! And look at that. Oh. Super strong servo. I did mess with the settings a little bit, so the exponential. Just so I wouldn't go flying it off the table, I set it um, really high. So, but you can like adjust everything on this thing. This is like incredible. You know, and it's from the here. I can do it right from here. No programming here. Just right from here. There are some other settings I could do. Uh, I could refine it a bit better. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't have the uh, my exponential on the steering is a little bit low because I'm not steering very tight. But I got the throttle down, I think. Um, I think, uh, although, even though I have the throttle down, when I go in and floor it, okay, that's about it. And before I set that uh, lower, it was going like twice that fast, so. Um, anyway. Yeah. So let's go ahead and if it wasn't dark outside right now, I would take you all out and um, we would crawl over the log, which is my impromptu crawling park because I don't have one really right now. Can we go over that? All right, let's see. Got to hold it. <laughs> all right, there you are, guys. Um, Next time you see this, I'm going to have this dash fixed. I'm going to cut that piece out so it sits down flush. There's some other things that's going to happen to the cage on this thing. Um, the open area up here and back here. I'm going to fix that. Might do something with the back end. And since this truck has headlights, why shouldn't it have tail lights? That's what I'm thinking. So, all right. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a like click, make sure to subscribe so you can see more. I know this truck in particular isn't exactly, you know, on the top search, but, you know, I, I, I've, I've been wanting it for a really long time and uh, I finally got it and I probably should have bought it like a couple years ago, but I didn't because it was a lot cheaper then. It's, uh... We'll just say that it's the most I have spent for a crawler. Am I going off or on? There we go. Oh, I'm on. Alright. Now I'm off. This is the most I've spent on a crawler. Um, biggest thing on this thing is uh, people are saying that it's really top heavy and it will be. 
um, but it's also very front heavy. As you can see by uh, the way the tires are sitting right here, you know, like mm, the front is really heavy. So, and I had to take the front shocks and turn um, the rate down all the way in order for it to support itself. But when you go ahead and flex it, it still has everything it needs, right? I mean, it'll really flex. So, that we haven't put the body on yet. The body is fiberglass, so that's going to be even more top heavy. Um, however, we're not going to worry about that. Not right now. Uh, when we get to that part, then we're going to talk about suspension. And when you have a, a hard body or a top heavy truck, you need to work on the suspension to make sure that the suspension is suspending, not giving too much you know especially if you're on a side hill you know if you're on a side hill like this thing will go well it'll go pretty high before it falls over that's it right there and that's uh that's that's pretty damn good without the body on that we can work on um with the suspension we can also work on the uh, tires, um, I have a, an experiment in mind on that. Um, I figure since I'm building this truck, why not go with the, you know, why, why not go ahead and try this experiment? Another thing I can do is I can put thicker shock oil in the front, right? Since that way I can take the preload off of the front uh, shocks a bit, maybe, and uh, I mean, it. it there, there isn't a whole lot you can go but anyway I hope you like this video I hope you like this build if you like this build you like this video make sure that you like subscribe and I will see you next time make sure to keep building keep fixing see you next time